Hi, I'm Katie from Hearts Content Farmhouse, and today we are gonna be making a really delicious sangria recipe that is perfect for fall. This recipe is called apple pear sangria. I wanted to combine the flavors of early fall for something that would be really great for September and into October, but this recipe turned out so good that I think we will probably be making it all the way up until Thanksgiving. Like any sangria recipe, this is great for a party because it makes a lot and because it has to be made ahead of time, at least two hours in advance. And this is a good thing because it allows you to make it in the morning, tuck it in the fridge, and then just pull it out when you need it with just a couple finishing steps at the very end. So this is a super easy recipe. It will take you about 15 minutes to put it together and get it in the fridge. The first thing you're going to do is chop four apples. Um, I started out trying this with chopped pears and it didn't really work. The pears turned brown really quickly, but the apples kept their color really well. So four chopped apples, just dump them into your container. Then we're gonna add two cups of pear flavored vodka. If you can't fine pear flavored vodka, you can add a quarter cup of pear nectar, but the pear vodka has a really good flavor. It smells just like pear juice and it's really delicious. And then I added in three tablespoons of caramel sauce, just the jarred caramel that you would find in the store to go on top of ice cream. It does settle to the bottom a little bit once you chill everything, but it added so much good flavor that I kept it in, but it is optional. Next, we are going to pour in eight cups of fresh apple cider. This is a half gallon of apple cider, dump it in. And then the final thing we're gonna put in before we refrigerate for a while is a bottle of white wine. The kind of wine you use doesn't matter. It can be dry, it can be sweet. It's not gonna make a very big difference either way. You're mostly tasting the flavors of the cider and the pear. So you wanna put this in the fridge for about two hours. And then right before serving, you wanna pour in two cups of club soda. And right before serving, you just wanna give it a final stir serve it over ice and then you can drop a cinnamon stick in each glass for garnish. And be careful with this recipe because it is really sweet and it doesn't taste like alcohol at all, but it does pack quite a punch. So <laughs> drink this recipe responsibly and make sure you warn people when you serve it that it is stronger than it seems. So like I said, I think it'll be a great recipe all the way through the fall and up to Thanksgiving, maybe even Christmas. It is really delicious and has that fall flavor with all the spices and the apple cider.